Hello everyone, this is going to be the first of a long-term series of videos aimed at helping newer players learn more about speedrunning Destiny 2 through a friendly, accessible format. For raids in particular, starting with this video, I'm going to take a top-down approach of individual encounters and sections where I break down how to strategize and execute in a speedrunning environment, especially when your run involves multiple players. Hopefully, videos like these will be able to help new runners gain a solid understanding of how to approach speedrunning. Let me know if you have any suggestions in the comments. Vow the Disciple is one of Destiny's most complex raids to date, with 26 unique symbols used extensively throughout all four encounters. Although it suffers from a notoriously long entrance section, every section of the raid rewards teams handily for well-crafted strategy and quick communication, making it one of the most interesting raids to speedrun. Alright, and now it's time to address the elephant in the room, let's talk about entrance. Vow's barge or payload encounter is easily the longest entrance in Destiny history, taking up about a third of a nearly 20 minute run. While it may seem pretty straightforward, there is still room to gain or lose a significant amount of time in this segment of the run. Thankfully, for competent teams, this section of the raid is relatively consistent, but it shouldn't be neglected. Let's talk about objectives during Vow entrance. The first objective is killing the projection, someone needs to go forward to spawn it in, and then everyone else has a couple seconds of time before that projection is realistically damageable. So what we do is we have everybody besides the person that went forward, hone Izanagi's burden, and then the person that goes forward is on divinity and applies a debuff and a nice big crit spot for everyone else to hit. And you also have a buff using an Ember of Torches Radiant Melee that can be pre-shot before the projection even spawns in, and then the person that melees can use a regular sniper to also participate in damage to ensure that that kill happens on time. After killing the projection, you need to get to the barge itself. There are no good ramps and a lot of walls en route to the cart, so slipstreaming is out of the question. That leaves shatter skating. Realistically, only one person can shatter skate to the cart early, and only one person really needs to go there. They only need to be there early enough to spawn in the abominations before everyone else gets there, and then they can change characters so they don't have to be on hunter for the rest of the entrance. Everyone else behind them can just follow on a sparrow in the order of their importance, meaning that the players with the furthest knowledge or abominations to kill should be in front of the order of sparrows, and then everyone else just trails behind. After getting to the first stop, and at every subsequent stop, you need to kill abominations as quickly as possible to spawn in knowledge fast. There's a couple things to consider when killing abominations. Number one, you don't get any pervading darkness when you're on the barge, meaning you get max damage into the light grenades as long as you're sitting on the cart. Number two, Abominations always spawn in the same order in the same positions, meaning you can have certain players assigned to killing certain abominations as quickly as possible. In terms of actually killing the abominations, we have used a variety of weapons and loadouts, from the 4th Horseman, to Into the Light Storm and Fusion Grenades, to 1-2 punching them with Syntheseps and Powered Melees, which is what we settled on eventually during the time period that we got record. After killing all three abominations, you have to pick up a total of 9 knowledge where each player can pick up a max of 3. There's two things about knowledge that most people don't know about Vow Entrance. Number one, the second abomination at most stops will spawn in 6 knowledge early. Number two, the card has a 1 second frame rule where it checks for player deposits. That means that if two players get to the card at the same time, the cart will take a minimum of one second to process both deposits, assuming both players got there the second the frame roll actually hit and checked for those deposits. This means that you should design routing to include as few players as possible, so 3 by 3 when you can, while accounting for early spawning knowledge, so the first 6. You need ammo and supers for first encounter, since you're not getting flag and the encounter can't be permed, and there's many enemies present at every stop, meaning you have a lot of opportunities to get your super using ashes to assets or hands-on. And there's also mini-boss abominations and major chieftains at every stop as well, meaning you get a lot more super energy. Uh, using mods again like ashes to assets, siphon mods, and special finisher, you can help augment the amount of ammo that your team has going into first encounter. Finally, you need your actual skippers to first encounter. There's two of them in the most recent Vow strat, 0-1 checkpoint and 0-1 skip. 0-1 skip needs to make it from entrance all the way down to acquisition to pull the entire fire team, and 0-1 checkpoint just needs to make it over that wall at the end of entrance so that they can hit the checkpoint behind the door before the door actually opens, makes it a little bit faster. There's also a retroactive fire team checkpoint at the end of entrance, at the end of that barge path, that everybody in the fire team has to hit at some point. Usually people will decide to hit it between 5th and 6th stop, and then they'll go back and do 6th stop with 4 people instead of 6, and uh, speaking of that, you also need to modify your entrance routing 
on the last stop given that you have two less players. And that's pretty much it for entrance. Hopefully, if you and your team have done everything right, you get to acquisition in about six minutes. And the next time I see you, we'll be talking about acquisition, which is the first encounter of the raid, and one of the most interesting.